Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kazi here with another cause and effect Photoshop video and this time I thought we'd go down to Mexico. Last time we did the United States, the time before that we did Canada. So we'll get the trifecta here of North America just out of the way and I thought, you know what, Mexico's got some pretty cool animals. And no, we're not just doing donkeys. We actually took the time to research some pretty cool animals and we'll talk about them as we kind of go through the video here. But we're going to start with the Mexican wolf, which I didn't know was a thing. But damn, this is a cool looking animal. So we're going to start with it. Start uh, by just doing a little outline. See, in the past, we've done the body usually a bear. And bears are pretty easy to work with. Um, I mean, they've got big parts, not a lot of detailed work. But this wolf, this wolf uh, proved to be a troublesome one. So, uh, you know, we give it a good go. But I think it's turned out pretty good. You gotta do a little detail work. Make sure you get that tail. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we got the whole wolf here. Beautiful creature. Oh, beautiful. We're probably gonna soften it up as well. I love doing these Photoshop videos because I get to watch the process for the first time, like the the final product with you guys along. So we're kind of on this little journey together here. So Start by softening this wolf a little bit, make him look nice and touched up, make him look pretty. It's never going to look perfect, I'm not an expert, but moving on to the howler monkey. Now, I wanted to do the howler monkey because monkeys, I've honestly just been waiting till we can add them into our Photoshop videos, and howler monkeys have some of the funniest expressions. I mean, look at this guy's look, he just is like, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not pleased with you, uh, please stop carving out my face, I do not appreciate it. I obviously had a hard time with it, but we made it work. We made it work. This whole process of doing Photoshop, I honestly, my skills are that of a high school student. I have no understanding. It's like a lot of my Photoshop ability comes from basically my early days of farting around on a computer, but that's the best part is that we're farting around together, together. <laughs> this monkey's face already just looks ridiculous. I'm starting to blend it in and kind of brush it all in, but it kind of just looks like a pug <laughs> it, it kind of just looks like a pug and it's creepy as all hell it looks like a weird bat creature but exactly this is the exact reason why i wanted to use howler monkeys so next we got to the axolotl now the axolotl is a pretty unique mexican animal i didn't realize that they were uh, central just to Mexico. I knew that they were pretty rare wherever they were from, but I actually didn't draw the, the link there, the bridge. But uh, I didn't know how to use this cute little guy, but of course I'm going to use these weird little little antler things. They're gills, I guess is what they are for breathing. I don't know a whole lot about axolotls, but what I do know is that their little gills are kind of like um, a leftover, a holdover. I guess most salamanders lose those gills as they grow up. So they're kind of messy, to be honest with you, as I'm looking at this. The blue kind of drove me crazy throughout the entirety of creating this. So hopefully uh, the final product, I don't really remember, hopefully the final product looks a lot better than this, but that's okay. I'm not gonna criticize my own work. We're here to have a good time. But this looks just strange already. It already has this weird like Disney Channel alien vibe to it, or you know what? It reminds me of Animorphs. <laughs> if you don't know what Animorphs are, look up some of these. It's an old book from when I was a kid at least. Look up some of these books and you'll see what I mean. This has a weird early 90s, early 2000s mutant alien animal vibe going already. This looks ridiculous. But I do love how it's turning out so far. Those big howler monkey eyes. Howler monkeys are pretty cool too because they're just loud. I mean, they're almost like the, the crows of the forest. They're just so loud, always making noise. But I do love the way this is looking so far. This just looks creepy. It looks like a depressed pug. All right, finally, we're getting to the golden eagle. Now, I wanted to do wings, but every time I do wings, I have these open, outstretched wings. So I thought that I would do something a little different do a closed wing and kind of have it sitting on there almost like um my inspiration for this part i guess if you think harry potter i'm thinking buckbeat you know that griffin thing that <laughs> attacks that dude from slither malfoy takes him out and then hagrid's got to take buckbeat out back it's a sad part of the movie sad part of the movie for sure but our buckbeak's not being taken out back so that's all good so uh our little pug-faced monkey demon coming together so far <laughs> this is ridiculous 
but uh, golden eagles, they're pretty cool. They're giant bald eagles, basically, except not with the same coloration. And uh, here, here we go, our mystery animal, the scorpion. Of course, we gotta have a scorpion. We gotta have one. This is a Mexican creature. I wanted to have at least one kind of stereotypical Mexican animal in there. And of course, we went with the scorpion. And then there's the vaquita. Oh, that little fin, it sits perfectly on top. I did want to talk about the vaquita a little bit because vaquitas are cool little animals, to be honest with you. They're tiny little dolphins, and unfortunately, because of commercialized fishing, these poor little cute dolphins get taken out. Do some research on them, honestly. They're, they're pretty cool. I was having some problems with this face here, and this stressed me out for a long time, actually. I couldn't figure out what the problem was, where this white spot was coming from, and I kind of have a stroke of genius. You'll see, I spent so long fiddling with it, I try to fix it. I take a patch from the original picture to try to cover it up and re-blend it. And I'm getting frustrated. But quickly, you can see there, I just deleted a white patch. It was actually part of the scorpion tail. <laughs> I just remember that tormenting me. This is all sped up, so you're seeing it pretty quick. But what's like 10 seconds to you was like five minutes. <laughs> So it was, a, it was a rough go, but we got all this planning going in here. I think I did this a little bit differently. I decided to make all the adjustments on the parts after I put them on. In uh, past videos, I was kind of shading and shadowing as I was adding pieces. Um, but this time I did kind of the full picture and then I started doing some of the shadowing, some of the uh, Photoshop tools. I think I'm going to do that differently in the future just because I feel like it gave me more control when I was doing it part by part, but this thing is coming together. It is absolutely horrifying. Just look at this thing. I don't even know what to call it. It it looks almost like one of those monkeys from The Wizard of Oz. Like, And to be completely honest with you, it's creepy. I don't know if it's the best creature that we've created so far, but it's definitely one of the most unsettling to look at, that's for sure. All right, so this is, of course, wrap my favorite part of making the whole video here. Of course, we made this strange looking creature, but we gotta give it a home. We gotta bring it to Mexico. We gotta make it real. So we got him, we're placing him. There's leftover bits from the scorpion. I really should have done a better job, but for some reason, I was just firing off. I gotta get her done. All right, the scorpion tail. Yeah, I thought that I'd add a nice mesa. I think that, that that's what that's called in the background. It's a giant rock outcrop. I find this hilarious because I spend all this time trim, like trimming this, like trying to line it up, make it look pretty. I'm like, perfect, I'm gonna do this by hand. It's gonna be beautiful. Look at that. This is coming along great. Nothing can stop me, nothing can go wrong. Oh man, this is gonna be the easiest cut of all time. Not, I fucked up, I screwed up. And I was like, no. And I knew there had to be a better way, and there was. I'm just an idiot when it comes to Photoshop. So I just did a quick click, cropped out the background. This is the journey of using a program you're just kind of learning, is that there's so much easier ways to do the things that I'm trying to do. And I'm sure someone who's watching these videos who actually knows how to use Photoshop is sitting here going, what the hell is this guy doing? All right, so we've got the one. I thought I'd mix it up, try adding shadows in this time. You know, we're always trying to improve, you know, lacking in some places, growing in other places. So we got this nice little shadow form in here. All right, perfect. And I think it actually adds a little bit of realness, but shadows, that's something I'm gonna have to research. Maybe I should need to do a series of learning how to actually use Photoshop. So of course we've got the main animal in here. And uh, like I said, I always like to set the scene. So we're going to try to add another one, I'd imagine, once I get this all cleaned up here. So here we go. Here we go. It looks like we got another one. Mirror it, twin it, easy. Take that, Photoshop Masters. I know what I'm doing. So we've got both creatures. Look at that, beautiful. Now this is where I'm thinking we get the Wizard of Oz monkey vibe. So unlike the other mythical animals, the other mythical animals seem to be on their own there were great sages of their environments but i'm kind of thinking that this weird monkey scorpion wolf beast is more of like a more of like the the goons the grunts you know like maybe there's a greater sage mexican animal and these little guys are kind of minions almost like the flying monkeys from the wizard of oz maybe these guys just kind of fly down you know they're the arms the eyes of whatever mythical beast truly runs mexico i don't know of course we gotta add the scenery 
This one I found a little bit challenging because unlike North America, like uh, Canada and America, there were animals that I was fairly familiar with, animals that I see in my daily life. I mean, I don't see a lot of raccoons popping out from trees to drink beers, but I definitely see raccoons. Um, so finding Mexican animals, I had a hard time, but I thought, you know what, Golden Eagle, we know lives down there, so we'll use one of those. Of course, we've got the rattlesnake down in the right corner there. And I think the golden eagle actually looks pretty good. Add something, because just because these animals are combinations of random animals doesn't mean those random animals don't exist in this world, right? So, of course, they're more like, I guess they're kind of like totem animals. They're almost like animals that are representative of whatever animals in their area. Just like the buffalo with the American animal, the polar bear with the Canadian animal. They're totems. They're powerful creatures. All right, so here I tried adding bats because bats, there's a lot of different types of bats in Mexico. And I discovered this through my research because again, I didn't want to just use donkeys. I didn't want to use, I wanted to research actual animals that lived in Mexico. Um, so, you know, you have your rattlesnake, your golden eagle, some little prairie type dogs, and, but there were so many bats and I wanted to include them somehow, but I couldn't find any bats that didn't look ridiculous. Um, bats aren't very photogenic. They just don't look that great when it comes down to Google image searches. So unless I'm hunting down pictures of bats myself, um, I think I ultimately end up cutting those stupid Scooby-Doo looking bats in the corner. Yep, speak of the devil, they get cut. So this was kind of interesting. I'm kind of building the environment a little bit more. In the last ones, I'm adding elements like coolers and fire pits, but I don't know, I thought I'd try to add a little bit of a sun, add some glow to it. Again, we're, we're learning, it's a journey together. And to be completely honest, I love the way that that turned out. It, I mean, it's probably not in the best spot landscape wise, but why the hell not? Throw a moon in there, add a little spiritual balance. Oh yeah, baby. We've got the eagle flying across the moon as the sun goes down and our weird little monkey wolf scorpion flying creatures of death they're just hanging garden so i'm i'm imagining in the scene that our weird little flying monkey dog <laughs> oh it's, it's so creepy it's kind of like protecting this prairie dog family or at least you know letting uh letting him relax with a, a temporary truce perhaps maybe this creature just kind of keeps its uh, presence known keeping all the little animals safe who who knows it's up to you guys watching what's what's this animal all about you know preferably someone from mexico who knows something about mexican wildlife and their interactions ah yes this nice this this nice this nice <laughs> this nice what yes this golden eagle I found a second one there are a bunch of different animals i wanted to add in it's hard though. I've wanted to use these pronghorns for something just because they're kind of a cool animal. They look almost like they're from like the Ice Age, except they're modern day animals. I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't know how to put this guy in. I just knew that I wanted him. All right, so tarantulas, scorpions, rattlesnakes, golden eagles. I think I've got all the animals, all right? And I know I've mentioned donkeys a few times, but I'm pretty committed to not using donkeys in this at all. I know that we're in Mexico, but it just kind of seems like a cheap shot if I were to add a fucking donkey. <laughs> but honestly, this turned out pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I really like the final product. I mean, it's not the prettiest creature that we've created by far. But I did learn a little bit doing this video, and to be honest, I kind of like the idea of not just a single creature. We have one large creature. I don't know, we don't even have a name for this one. I don't know, it's like the flying monkey pug dog. I don't know, I don't know, we'll come up with something. It's not the spirit of the West. Oh, I don't know, this is a tricky one. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, or if you guys have a pretty cool name to give this Mexican beast, I don't even know what you'd call it. It's like a harpy. It's like a, a dog monkey harpy. I don't know, the howler beast. 
Maybe it could be the Chupacabra killer. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want more, and feel free to check out some of these other videos that I've done in the past. Uh, we did Canada, North America. Check them out, guys. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, uh, and I'll be back with some more random Photoshop videos here on Cause and Effect. Peace out.